How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. This week we're doing all the repairs on the Volkswagen Transporter that you've seen previously. Now, we've already showed you a video that's fitting a clutch on the Fiesta ST. If you haven't seen that video, there's a link to it up here. Um, so, we didn't want to show you doing a clutch again. So, we've already done the clutch. I've got the old one out. So this is the old one, as you can see it's a Valio clutch and I hate Valio clutches, they are the cheapest rubbish I've ever seen fitted to a car, they're absolutely hopeless. If you look at the pressure plate you can see where it's been slipping, right, but if you actually put the friction plate on it, it doesn't even cover the whole pressure plate. There's like a good half inch that doesn't get covered. There's no adjustment on the pressure plate either. So, yeah, cheap crap, absolute nonsense. So we've went for obviously an LUK rip set. These are perfect, much more friction surface. It's the full width of the pressure plate and it's also got the adjusters on the pressure plate. So as the clutch wears down, it can self adjust the pressure and it will be spot on. So, clutch is already done. Now, we're going on to the wheel bearings and the back brakes. And I still can't quite believe how these wheel bearings are held in. So, believe it or not, the wheel bearings on a Volkswagen Transporter actually clip in. They're not held in with a hub nut, they're not held in with a ringy bolts at the back. They actually clip in. Now, they send you this because these fit different variations, they also fit Volkswagen Touaregs but on the transporter that clip there is what holds the bearing into the trailing arm I've never done one of these before it's a first for me, I've always seen bolted in bearings but these actually do the fronts as well on a transporter so it's the same bearings all the way around and you also need a special tool to fit them, which we had to order in. So, special tool is basically a set of plates. Watch me open this upside down and everything fall out. No, we're all right. So there we go. It's basically a set of plates that screw together on the back of this to pull it out. A plate that the pins go in for pressing against the hub. There's attachments for going on the back of the bearing for pulling it back in. Some spare wheel bearings, some spare bearings for the rod. But yeah, this is what you need to do the bearings on this. You can't, you can't do these bearings without it apparently. So, Let's jack it up, get this wheel off, strip the brakes off, and then we'll try and pull the first pair out with this deal. guys follow our channel you'll know already that last was it last week we stripped this down already didn't we yeah we had a look at it and so we could diagnose it yeah so we stripped all the brakes off we've had all the wheel bearings checked so we know that both sides are a bit grumbly so this should come apart no bother because we've already cleaned and greased it all so we'll get it all stripped in we've got new calipers we've got new discs we've got new pads everything's here for it so it'll be fully refreshed on the back. Hey guys, Chris Fix here.
right guys, a couple of YouTube videos later and we're ready to go because of course Mattel didn't come with instructions so from what we've gathered this oh, this bit of it presses the new bearing in so that goes on with the new bearing the big sort of silver one clamps on the back here you put the tool on with the pins through the wheel nuts and then there's a sort of flange on the back with a big nut and the, you tighten this up and it's supposed to draw the bearing out so fingers crossed it works we'll be the first to know let's see if it'll come out yeah. I can Try imagine it. this being pretty tight yeah I need some lever, lever. But the guys, the guys on the YouTube videos didn't even remove the ABS sensor. Like, I'm real scared of cracking the end of that ABS sensor. But I'm sure we'll be alright. I hope so. I don't have an ABS sensor. There we go. Now that, that was tight to get that to break free. But then it just wound it and he bothered it. I still can't believe that the back wheel has literally held in with a clip. Mm. It's tight though. So. Uh, yeah, but it's held in with a clip. That's crazy. Hey, time to get the new one in and all the other new parts. Yeah. Because time's getting on, Dad. Okay, Paul. Am I doing the other side? You can, uh, I think we should maybe do one side at a time, do you? Oh yeah, that's what I'm on about. When you're done, am I yeah. doing the other side? You guys keep complaining that I don't get my hands dirty. Right, so obviously before I fit the new one, I'm going to clean this up a bit and make it as easy as possible to go back in. So, round here where the new clip's going to clip in, I'm going to go round with the wire brush and the drill bit, and make sure that's spotless so it can clip in alright. And then I'm going to use a bit of sandpaper, just a bit of 400, and just clean the axle up. Just make sure there's nothing that can catch it and stop it going in. Um, and then yeah, ABS sensor still okay, so we still need to be careful with that. But this looks should be a fairly easy job if this goes in, all right. Right, so we referenced to another YouTube video. I figured out how to put it back in. So we've got an adapter that goes on the back here. That sits in there just nice, and it still clears the ABS sensor, so we don't need that out. Then this goes on at the back, and then we've got a slightly different size, the clamp that goes round the new bearing, which presses on the bearing race. So it presses on the outer casing rather than the bearing race itself to push that back in. But this is supposed to be threaded, And there's like one thread left at the bottom of that hole. But there's absolutely nothing in that one. So it's it's not the best. So it was cheap. It was a very cheap tail, it was only £45. So we'll have to make day with what we've got. Before we start to press a new bearing in. I'm just going to put a wee tiny bit of grease on it because you should never try and force it in dry. Always make sure you're lived up. We could use a bit of tape, electrical tape, wouldn't it? We've got the tool set up. 
pretty much the same way. Everything's on the back. We've improvised and used a bit of electrical tape around that uh, clamp just to make sure it stays together. The flat actually lines up with this bit in the backing plate so that tells you where these little dowels are. I've got it lined up as straight as possible so all we've got to do now is try it and see if we can get it in. Put a spanner on the back just in case. Try and keep this nice and square. Oh. <laughs> That's no gone square. Does it not like strain itself up when you just tighten it? Yeah, but you like, don't want to force it. See how much easier it's going now that it's squared up? Yeah. See me be going. I'm, I'm assuming at some point we'll hear a a click, a click, a nice comforting click that it's went all the way home. Clips in all the way around. We did it. The 44 pound eBay tool done the job. Right guys, this side's all built up. New discs on, new bearing, caps on the back, new caliper, new pads, all bled up. And we never used Charlie this time, because Charlie's standing here. Oh yeah. Yeah. We've got Missy's home built inside, she's bled the brakes up with me. I'm going to take Missy's home built home. Charlie's going to scrub up this side and lano guard it while the wheel's off and then pop the wheel back on for me coming back. And then we'll quickly clear up this mess. And then now that we know what we're doing, we can go yeah. rattle it the other side, can't we? Why are you squinting? Angles, Charlie. All about the angles. I've seen my Armstrong do it. Go and, go and take mum home. Right, while well, I was away, Charlie's cracked on, he got the wheel on the other side, let it down, jacked this side up, got the wheel off, he's rubbed in everything underneath and he's done all the ladder guarding on the back. So, if you haven't seen the ladder guard video, it's because we've not released it yet. It's maybe next week. But we've done a wee bit on this, because this guy wanted this done, so. Yeah, it's looking great under there. We've only got the last side to do now. And we're on the home straight. We'll get this van finished and back up to back up to the customer tonight. So let's just crack on and get it done. I'm still amazed the wheels are held. The wheel wheel bearings are held on with clips. <laughs> still, I know it's friction fit because it's pressed in as well. But I'm so used to everything having either a big hub nut on it or. Like four balls. Yeah, see, because you can get these in four wheel drive. I was looking at the the new yeah. hub nuts you can get. I'm like, what the duds? Don't put these on. And I, I looked, and there was nothing. I was like, should I be putting the wheel on before duds put that on? But I know they're all splined because they're all the same yeah. bearing, same part number. So if you've got a four wheel drive one, you can have the drive shaft on the back, and yeah, they're all the same. Which is I, it's pretty good actually. I think so. Yeah, sorry. But yeah, here we go. Let's get it done. Let's get it done.
Right guys, the transporter's away, we've got a bit of space to walk about in here and we brought in one of our projects to have a wee look at to see how much room we would have in here so we brought the MX-5 down obviously <laughs> we've got quite a bit of tidying up to do because before we before we brought this down we finished off that Peugeot 207 so we gave it a coat of underseal and what else did we do? underseal hoovered it, Probably gave it a clean and all stuff and all that yeah. So the floor's covered with dirt and it's yeah. all sticky with the, with the other stuff. So yeah, we're going to have a, need to have a real good clean. Yeah, tip before Andy does any of uh, yeah. the lino guard and stuff, put like a big sheet down. Put something down because lino guard... It gets everywhere. Yeah, it makes a mess and I'm hoping it cleans up already. But, yeah. It makes five fits well. We best go and tidy this place up before we start our next video. So, thanks again for watching guys, make sure you like, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you on Wednesday.